from Omotepa Island in Nicaragua. Today we're hiking a volcano. It is just past 5.30 in the morning on Omotepe Island in Nicaragua. We are staying in the little town of Santa Cruz on the Madera side of the island. The island is actually a set of two volcanoes inside of a giant freshwater lake. And today we are hiking to the top of Madera's volcano. Now Madera's has an additional lake at the summit in the crater. And that's what we're trying to get to today. Sounds like it's gonna be a pretty big hike. It's about seven hours with a thousand meter vertical gain. Lots of jungle in the beginning. And then as we get higher, it gets into sort of like a cloud forest. Meant to be monkeys, definitely great views. And I think it is gonna be awesome. So yeah, let's get going. A little dark because I'm actually exposed to that volcano back there. That is Concepcion with perfect sunrise light on it. Looks amazing. Got a shot. What do you think? Yeah, it's crazy. Do you see that little cloud on top? The guide said that it never disappears. It's like a little sombrero. Want to introduce Jamil. He is our local guide here for the day on Ometepe. Hi, hello guys. Now right now we are going to the top to the volcano to see the Madera's lake. We are about halfway up the mountain and totally soaked. It is incredibly humid right now. Yeah, you're sweating. I am like raining sweat. It looks like I just got out of a pool. You are completely dry. I'm not completely, but I'm okay. Yamil, how are you? I'm very good. It's feeling pretty good. Yamil says we have two more hours to go and yeah. it's already, what, eight o'clock? Eight o'clock, yeah. So we gotta keep pushing for sure. But we've already seen capuchin monkeys and heard howlers. I saw one off in the distance, but I didn't get really good footage of it. But very cool to already have seen some monkeys. And yeah, now we're gonna go check out the lake. Yes, let's go to the lake. Entered the cloud forest, we're at about 1,300 meters, so we're very close 
to uh, to the level where hopefully we can see the lake. I think we are in a bit of a cloud right now. The trail is absolutely covered in mud. Check this out. So shoes are getting destroyed and it's really slippery. Got to be careful. But overall, pretty awesome. Totally soaked. I think I'm actually dripping. But uh, yeah, we're almost at the top. We're close. Just want to show you guys what this trail looks like by trying to selfie and walk at the same time. So there's one thing I haven't told you guys, and I don't know if many of you know this or not, but about 10 years ago, 2007, 2008, I lived in Costa Rica, and Ometepe is really close to where I live. And I came here once, and I climbed the other volcano, Concepcion, in 2007. And I've wanted to climb this volcano since then. Sorry, I'm out of breath. For 10 years. I've wanted to come up here and that travel goal is finally becoming a reality and that is pretty amazing. We made it to the top! <laughs> So this lake is a very, very interesting ecosystem. We are at 1,330-ish meters, and that is a freshwater lake in the crater of a dormant volcano. Might still be active, but not in the last couple hundred years. And it is in the middle of another freshwater lake. The other lake, Lake Nicaragua, is a completely different ecosystem. So very cool. I'm not sure if there are many places in the world where there is a freshwater lake within a freshwater lake that are not still part of the same lake. So yeah, that's interesting. And you can swim in there, but I don't think we're gonna go down and go for a swim because we have to get back down to the bottom. Sometimes, just like Gangstar, you gotta be above the clouds. Myself, Lord and Master, shall bring disaster to evil factors. Demonic chapters shall be captured by kings. Look who we found! Jorge! Ooh, El Español! Hey! Jorge is from the last video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's when we took the boat from El Salvador to Nicaragua. Now we're in Nicaragua, on a volcano. Yes, but we're going down and he's going. They didn't want to hike with me because I was too slow. <laughs> <laughs> back to the hotel which is awesome because we are tired it is exactly 1 p.m. which means it took us seven hours but let's sign off when we get back to the hotel in two seconds This is the man. If you're looking to do the, the trek, look for Jamil in Santa Cruz. Thank you. And we are back in Santa Cruz, down from the volcano. Yeah, we were really tired, but it was well worth it. It took in total seven hours, but yeah, 
the views are stunning and I'm glad we did it. Yeah, me too. I'm glad we got up at 5.30 in the morning as well. I know it sounds kind of early, but we were able to shoot a little bit of the sunrise on Concepcion and really get up above the crowds too. Yeah. We didn't see anybody going up, but we passed at least no. like four or five groups going All down. Right down. That feels really good. Yeah, that feels great. So if you are planning on doing it, most people leave at seven. I would highly suggest leaving at 5.30, even six. Um, what else? Oh yeah, definitely take a guide. Oh yeah. There, I think there's one or two routes up on the other side that are direct, but the route that we took from Santa Cruz, there are yeah. many crossing Turn routes. Off, so yeah, you can easily get lost, so it's recommended to get a hike for sure. A hike guide. For sure. <laughs> So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And we see you in the next one. Through the storms of days after, and to the earth from the sun through triple darkness to blast you with a force that can't be compared to any firepower for its mind power shared.